Hey guys, welcome to a video on my channel on how to downgrade your Twitch version. I'm currently on 5.1 and I want to go down to 5.0.2. So what you're going to need is a NAND backup of 5.0.2. You're going to have to have your own one. If you use someone else's, it could get him and yourself banned. And it's almost definite because you have the same serial code and Nintendo will be able to spot that the second you go online. So you want your own one. You're going to have to open it. This normally would be in your SD card, but I've already put it on my desktop, so you should put that in your desktop. Remember where you've put it on your desktop and what file it's called. And you're going to have to download these files as well from the internet. I will have them in the description. You're going to have hack disk mount and memloader and the switch payload injector. Even if you've got the Tegra Smash file, you're going to need this one because it's got something that Tegra Smash can do. So I'll put that in the description. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug your switch into your PC and you're going to open the switch payload injector. First you want to go tools, APX drivers and install the driver. If you have got it earlier done, you don't have to do it. Now open the script, open. It's in a different language so this can get confusing. Basically it's just, just like, if you want to start, click any key. Now it's going to ask which what you want, one would be payload and then others, but we're more focusing on um, six. So you want to click number six and enter. Now, click any key to continue. Now click one and enter. It should load up something on your switch. You want to go all the way down to the go to USB command mode instead and click power button. That should boot it up. Now you can close this off and close this out. You can open hack disk mount. You want to run this as administrator. Wait for that to boot up. Then we'll go over to file, open physical drive, Linux UMS disk zero. It should be 29 gigabytes, click OK. Now this stuff should all appear, you want to find out where your NAND was, so remember where that is, you want to go over to the one that's the same as them, open, restore from file, browse, go to your desktop, find the file, and click over all files, normal main, and start. Now if that's done, you can close. Same again, go over there, it should be there now, click all, and have the second one, start. Go to free, browse, all files, and grab free, and click start. Back, safe mode, browse, all files, and which one we're on more in sub so four. And you want to continue this until you get to six. And you want to go to system. I'm going to do that off camera. Actually, I'm going to do it on camera, but I'm going to speed it up because it, it can take a very long time. So I'm five now. And it's the biggest number. What you want to do now is just hold down the power button until the light goes away. You can't really see it that well on my um, camera, but hold it until the darkish light goes away. And now you want to load up the normal, normal payload. So I'll do that quick. And I'll you're in your payload menu, you just want to launch up custom firmware. It should say paired as well with the left joy because it's not connected to the... It thinks it's a different system for some reason. Now if you go to settings, all the way down to system, 
you should see 5.0.2. There you go. And I'll show you that in Yeah, see? Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. If this helped you a lot, please like and subscribe if you want to see tutorials more like this. Alright, bye.